Uh, this is an agent that we um, like to work with. We have worked with it extensively at our at our center. Is uh, it has nice activity, especially on lymph nodes, and it, and it does have at least so far a very favorable um, side effect profile, toxicity profile, where we see some diarrhea, but. Um, and some infection, respiratory infection, but those are difficult to sort out between the natural predisposition of the patient with CLL toward this infection and what could be a factor related uh, to the agent. And uh, uh, we have seen our patient responding well. We have also seen very early some nice aspect like a, a rapid improvement in their hemoglobin, a rapid improvement in their platelets. Overall, uh, patients feel very well when they take this uh, treatment. So what we want to do is to be able to offer it to more patients and having it approved will make our life and the life of the patient easier because sometimes even if we like to have patients in clinical trials so that we can uh, report the results and advance in the field, we have patients for various reasons that they do not qualify uh, for a clinical trial, like patients that may have uh, a concomitant severe condition, they may have been diagnosed with another cancer, and, um, and they are therefore disqualified for participation and having the drug approved allow us to give it to them. Also, I think this is something that we always like is to use it in combination. So this is the first step that will make uh, the possible design, the future design of clinical trials in combination and program in combination easier.